Prime Minister, there was meant to be no drama. But then, this. Yes, that is what we think it is. Stephen Joyce hit with a sex toy. We always take something away from every meeting we have. Oh. This is the new, reworked Hellcat, on 9.15.1 test server. I will let you see for yourself the difference it has with the current HD model. They've added better textures, and some accessories like, extra tracks, a tent or camo net, some helmets hanging on the side, and even some ration bags. The overall look as a result, is a far better looking Hellcat than the half-hearted, half-assed attempt, in the last HD update of this tank. This might be an indication of a significant, and positive direction Wargaming are making to improve the quality and player experience. Next up, let's have a look at the M103 Heavy Tank. I am seriously liking what I see, the added texture and the reworked suspension on the M103, really shows the improvement of the HD graphics. It really looks like they spent some time in the details, and made every effort to make it look better. The most obvious additions, are the jerrycans at the back of the turret, and also the gun manual cover. The work by the artists will not go unnoticed, I'm sure the interwebs will be talking about this tank, like when the Centurion Action X first came out. Next up is the AMX 1375, to be honest, although I appreciate the HD update. It doesn't really have much of an impact like the way the M103 has. The 1375 is very similar to the 1390, in size, shape, and texture. And because the 1390 HD was released in the last patch, the new 1375 just isn't going to be much of a surprise. In fact, if you place the two tanks side by side, you are not going to see much difference at all. Perhaps Wargaming would have done better if they added some accessories, like what they did with the M103, to set these two tanks apart from each other. See what I mean? You can barely tell them apart. Okay, on to the main show, and the star of the update, the new Tier 9 Bat Chat. The Lorraine Replacement. This has been a long-anticipated release, and finally, it is here. I've played many games on this tank, and a quick review will be coming up shortly. But, first, let's take a quick look at it without the camouflage paint. Then, I will try to shed light on a major issue and blunder on Wargaming's part. If you didn't notice, the Batchat takes a four-man crew, while the Lorraine it replaces only has three. This means, we may get a free fourth crew added to our Tier 9 Batchat, in which case, everything is fine and dandy. However, if Wargaming decides not to do anything, then you're left to your own devices, and will have to retrain a fresh crew, and may lose your BIA perk, if you had one or spend the 200 gold to retrain a loader from the barracks. So, in conclusion, it's going to suck balls if Wargaming does not compensate us with a fourth crew. And it will suck ball sack even more, if you have an all-female crew currently in there now. Like I do sad face. At the time this video was made, I didn't realize I had an all-female crew. I looked for a French loader in my barracks, and retrained him for the position. I thought to myself, what an inconvenience it would be if I didn't have an extra loader in my garage, or the 200 gold to retrain him. Later I found the tank to be quite sluggish, so I went back to the garage to check, and then found that my BIA crew didn't match, and also the bat chat had one more engine to research. I came back later to fix this issue, and in my next video, I will cover the bat chat gameplay, and the new Paris map thanks for watching. See you then, in the meantime, be nice to people and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys, bye.